What's up everybody, Shane here from Fugitech 3D Printing and today we're going to install Clicky Probe here on the Varon Legacy. Welcome back everybody. So if you're following along with me, I am doing a build series here on converting my old Hypercube into what is now the Volron Legacy. And it's very, very near completion, but I can't home the Z axis because I don't have a probe or an end stop yet to make that uh, actually happen. So what I decided to go with is Volron's implementation of a probe called Clicky Probe. Now on the Varons, there are several different probes you can use. A lot of them are as an inductive probe that they kind of recommend, but sometimes it's affected by heating and I didn't want to buy it because I have lots of stuff here already. So I decided to go with Clicky Probe and I did, I mean, I did spend money on this because I didn't have the probe, but I did go ahead and buy a kit of AliExpress. I believe it was only like maybe seven or $8. It really wasn't much, but it did give me the cables, magnets, all the, all the bolts that you're gonna need to be able to make this happen, just because I just wanted to have, see what that was like to get a full kit. I have most of these parts. The one part I really didn't have is the actual um, probe itself. Here it is. Um, and basically it is just a end stop with the arm taken off of it and you're just using the little piece of switch there. So what's cool about the Clicky Probe is it's not always attached to your print head, actually. It uses magnets to go back, pick up the print head, come over, do the probing, and then go and put it back away. Which is very interesting. Uh, I'm very curious to see how this will actually go and work and what that setup is gonna look like. So I'm really hoping to get in that to my video today with you. So what we're gonna start with first is I'm gonna go over the parts that I have here printed, ready to go. I'm gonna show you how to install it here on the print head, how to mount the dock per se for this here, the back of the printer, and then what configuration is gonna look like in Clipper for this. So I hope you guys are ready for this adventure because I don't know what I'm doing and we're gonna figure it out together. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first is we need parts. And here I have, again, these are all of the parts that came in the kit. So it came with all of the nuts, bolts, heated inserts, magnets that you're gonna need for this. I have most all of these already, but again, I just wanted to see what this was like. And again, here is our little probe. This is just an end stop with the arm removed and it clicks like it should. Now for printed parts, these are specific for the Volron Legacy and I'll show you on the GitHub, but there are a ton of parts that go with this. So you kind of have to figure out what implementation you're doing on what printer to see what works for you. That was a little confusing part, but the Volron Legacy uses this particular uh, dock arm. This is the actual dock for the head. This is the actual sensor piece here that's going to be magnetized to either this guy or our print head, and it slides in just like so. And on the bottom is where our probe is going to be. Again, lots of magnets on here to do that. This is our actual carriage that's going to get mounted where the proximity probe would go in the print head. So I'm, this is, I think it's called the Stealth Burner, or I think that's, yeah, I think it's the Stealth Burner SB is what I have. And this is what we're gonna have some magnets in and our wire is gonna go to and go up and then we'll get all this wired in. The one cool thing that I didn't really understand is that it's using the magnets as basically the leads to have an electric connection to the probe so that these magnets here line up. And while these ones right here, they have the two ends of the probe. These ones here have two wires come through and go underneath them. And that connection is what is able to have the, the connection between the two. I actually need to file that down a little bit to get this nice and flush so that the magnets can get a good connection. Uh, and then these are just some other support pieces to be able to get everything mounted in properly. And I have an extra carriage here just in case I need it for whatever happens, I've got two of them instead of having to print them again. So the first thing to do is gonna be take apart the, well, I guess is gonna be to wire this and get the magnets embedded into these two parts and then to have this connected to the print head, connect this to the printer, and we'll kind of go on for there. So let's jump to the magnets and wiring and, all right, so first things first, we have to get our probe installed into basically like the carriage here. And that's gonna use two of these little self 
threading, self-tapping uh, screws. These are M2.5s, I believe, or M2s, M2s by 10 mil. And then on the bottom here, there is an arrow, if you can see that. That is where your, the actuator for the probe, the little button, is gonna line up with right there. And that pushes through. If you can see there, you can see our metal pieces through there. And that's what's gonna be right next to our magnets. So all I have to do now is put these two guys into here and get that mounted. Okay, now that that is done, we're gonna go ahead and prep some of our magnets here. So again, this little kit I have, these are uh, three mil deep, six mil wide. And again, these are just, should just be press fit in. Um, but I think I will probably end up adding just a little bit of glue to be sure that they kind of stay in there. So let me get my pliers here. There is a, a helping guide thing too that you can use, but I like to use pliers as I walk around my office to get these. And basically getting one in there, using my pliers to just pinch them in. Doing it the same way for this one. The third thing here is to make sure that your polarity is the same. Hit that one in a little bit. And then now we just need to test to make sure these are still um, working. Well, that they have connectivity. So we can just get our meter here. If I press it, it's off. You hear that's beeping, press it, it's off. So that means we have good connectivity between our magnets, which is great. So now I'm getting this hooked to the, this guy right here, but I have to do wires first, but I'm gonna end up just sitting all of them on here so I can just push them kind of together like that. And that way I know I have the right polarity with the magnets. Okay, so in this carriage piece that goes in the stealth burner or afterburner, whatever this is called, uh, I've had to drill some of these holes out a little bit because they were obviously filled in from whenever I did my printing. So I got the wire that came with my kit here. I'm gonna go down through one of the two center holes. I have a fair bit stripped. That's gonna go back up and through here a little bit. And I'm gonna pull the wire tight. So I have a little bit sticking out there, but that is there and the magnet will push against that wire. So I'm just gonna get my other side of the wire here. And this is purely for, I'm gonna have to extend this wire obviously because this is way too short, but this is just for basically having this to be going through here with some nice flexible wire. So pull that through, come around here a little bit, a whole little bit, and then pull the wire back through. So now that I have both of those ready, I now can go ahead and get my magnets and get those squished in here. So again, the easiest way to do that is to get our bottom here, our actual like probe mount, and do one. Come on, oh, man, these are strong. Two and three magnets arranged just like that. So I know that these are gonna stick to each other when they come back together. And then we get this together here, and then we just need to push this together, which is gonna take me a second to get those all in there. Okay, well, now that I have this done, get the magnets on there, they are super duper strong. We're gonna go ahead and get the dock portion ready so we can set this aside. And I have the carriage here. So we need, I have to put a magnet in here and a magnet in the back so that this can slide and catch there. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, now for the like dock of this. So we have this part here, which is gonna connect to our frame. I put in the two heat inserts. Our dock here is gonna need those magnets we just put in. So again, you can see here that it just nicely just goes together. So we've got a magnet there, magnet there, a little bit of super glue to make sure they stay in. And this, and you can see mine is broken there, but it seems to fit okay. I've already done a test fit. Now this is just gonna get screwed onto here. We're gonna put two M5 by 10 
uh, button heads into here with some T-nuts and then we can attach this to the frame. All right, really finally, we need to get our mount for the hot end uh, installed in here. So we have to take apart a lot of this and run some cabling up it. So let's see if we can figure that out. First up, we need to open up where our fan is. This has the hinge door on it, like that. Okay, now we have two long M3s under here. Here's our hotting cartridge out of the way. And now we have a space back there, right there. That's where this guy's gonna go. Okay, there's the solid. It was just two M3 bolts in there, and then I fed the wire up through. So now it's really just getting it connected to the board and seeing if this actually works. I did check to make sure, where'd my thing go? Oh, here it is. You know, still, we have still good connection there. You can see that barely. And it goes back to the carriage. So let's see uh, how wiring goes now. As you can see, it's printing right now, and I printed several things with it. I've actually done a lot of tuning over the past week on this machine, but putting Clicky Probe on is, it's, it works great once you get installed and you have everything kind of complete and tuned and everything like that. I did run into a lot of issues when configuring this probe because uh, the macros were just wrong online. Uh, the ones in the Clicky GitHub are just incorrect. They don't work whatsoever. So thankfully, I was able to reach out to my Discord community and they were able to help me source the proper scripts to put into the different macros. I say scripts because they are absolutely scripts. I don't understand the language that's going into it whatsoever. I couldn't really troubleshoot what was wrong. I just didn't know it. Uh, I, did, I just don't know the, the language of it that well. So I had to rely on the community. So thank you to them uh, for helping me out, mainly Adam, who pretty much did all the help to get me to get this working, but I couldn't get it to uh, actually dock and pick up the probe. I don't remember what the other thing was, but either way, I'm just glad that it's now working. I'm glad to get through that and have working macros. So if I decide to put this on any future printers, I have things that work and I can just draw from them. But you can hear a little bit of it. I think it's actually rather quiet. Uh, once I get it onto the shelf and out of the way, I think it'd be even more quiet. But uh, yeah, so if you want to have the macros and things that I used for this, I'll put all of my configuration for 
the Clicky Probe down below. I also have links down there just to all of my configurations for my different for Clipper for the different printers that I have, just in case you're curious and you want to be able to use what I have as a starting point, you absolutely can go ahead and do that. And those links will be down below. That'll be it for this video. I think in the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just talk to you about how to tune this printer and then get going with it. I'm going to be doing my serial request very soon. I'm very excited for that. My first serialed Volron printer. Uh, it's a big step. Uh, if you're not familiar with serialing, uh, serialing, seri getting a, getting a serial, uh, basically every Volron printer that is built gets a serial after you upload a basically proof that it actually prints. I have to look at the requirements of it. Basically you upload proof that it's printing and they give you a serial. So this will be a Volron V0 dot my serial number, which there's probably only maybe a few hundred, if that, of this printer where you have some printers, there's actually in like the thousands of them. So it'll be uh, cool to be able to have my very own one here. So I thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope this was useful to you if you're thinking about using Clicky Probe. Uh, if you wanna see this content uh, in a different way or whatever, just give me a comment uh, down below. I'd love to hear from you, what you thought about it, if I can improve anything. I uh, really do would like to hear from you guys. So thank you for tuning in. I'll see you all next time and happy printing.